This is the Cougar Football Preview. Brought to you by Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Yes, it's a road game here. It's a short week, Thursday, the day before. It'll be a Friday night kick tomorrow night. What's your first key for this one, Cougs and Bears? Well, the biggest thing in, in, in any ball game, but especially when your favorite like the Cougs are, it's going to be taking care of the football. When you look at Cal, their three wins have come when they've won the turnover margin in those games. Their three losses, when they've either lost the turnover margin or tied in the turnover margin. Now, they do a great job of taking the ball away. They have 13 on the season so far, which ranks 11 in the country. Two shy of Washington, they were pretty good at taking the ball away themselves. Yeah, it's a big number. But one of the things that we, we have done is we've given up the ball nine times offensively. Now, Luke only has two interceptions, uh, but that being said, he has been very accurate as of late. He needs to continue that trend and keep that going because if you're going to go and face a team that you're supposed to beat, the big equalizer is turnovers. If they, can, if they go and win that turnover margin, that can go and really put this game on an even scale, although it shouldn't be as Washington State is the better ball club out there. Yeah, Cal has 13 takeaways, but 14 giveaways, minus one in the turnover margin. That's actually toward the bottom of the league. What's your second key? Number two, play all 60 minutes. Uh, it, I know it's cliche, but this Cal team tends to come back in the second half. They have all three of their wins, they've trailed in the second half and two times in the fourth quarter. They shut out both Ole Miss and Weber State in the second half combined. So uh, one of the things is, is they're outscoring opponents 16 points in the second half. Now, flip it over to Washington State side, we're outscoring opponents 53 points in the second half. Big numbers, so, especially in, in knots in this past weekend. Exactly, and so the big thing in my mind is when you get ahead, stay ahead, play 60 minutes. Don't be complacent on being up by 10, being up by 21. Go and finish the ball game out. All right, let's go with the third key. What you got? Number three is stay dominant on money downs. Money downs for me are third and fourth down on the field, offensively and defensively. I'm going to focus on the defensive side of the ball right now. Cal ranks last in the Pac-12 on converting on offense. They're at 33% converting offense to third downs. Now on fourth down, they're 11 for 17 and at about, about 65%. So that being said, Washington State, that's one of their best traits. Number two in the conference, only allowing 24% of conversions on third down. Now, Cal the last two weeks against UW and against, uh, against Oregon, 22% and 28% respectively. So that's one of the things that I think that if you want to have a dominant win and you want to show that you are in a national uh, national conversation, a top 10 team, top 8 team in the country, you have to go out there, perform on the money downs, get off the field like you have been. Maybe something to watch for also, it's kind of interesting, the 17 attempts on fourth down for Cal is toward the top nationally, 11 for 17. They've gone for it a lot on fourth down. Maybe that's because they've struggled on third down. It is, and don't expect anything less tomorrow. They're going to continue to go for it. They're going to, they know they're going to have to score a lot of points. So I would, I would expect for them to go for a fourth down early and often. We'll get after it tomorrow right behind us down there in Cal Memorial Stadium here in Berkeley. It'll be a 7.30 kick between the Cougs, ranked eighth in the country, and the Golden Bears on the air live at 5.30 with Alex Brink and Derek Dice. This has been the Cougar Football Preview. Brought to you by Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer.